let's just be honest. Getting through this school year can be a toil. Yeah, like from the beginning of the school year, all the months that have passed, whether you're a student, whether you're an educator, whether you're parents, let's just be real. Sometimes it's hard to get through the year. Sometimes you feel stressed out. Sometimes you feel worn out. Sometimes you feel burned out. And even sometimes you feel out, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the importance of refueling your body. You see, a lot of times people look forward to spring break to be off from school. But in this video, I'm going to show you how you can have spring break every day, every week, and every month of the year. I'm Cantus Simmons, and welcome to the Cantus Simmons Show. Hey, 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 what's going on? I'm Kansas Simmons and welcome to the Kansas Simmons Show. Thank you for being here. Thank you for tuning in. If you have not subscribed to this channel, hey, make sure you go and subscribe to this channel. And like always, I want to start off this video and I want you to drop a comment down below where you can declare it out of your mouth and say, this will be my best school year ever. Say it, come on. This will be my best school year ever. I want you to make that your mantra. I want you to make that your vision and I want you to make that your reality. Yeah, I believe that this will be your best school year ever. Now, we're gonna jump into to a few things all about helping you have a uh, spring break <laughs> every single day, every single week, every single month of the school year. Now, before I do that, I have a few cool resources here. Maybe they'll pop up here. If you want access to uh, my college funding book, maybe you or your student or your parent, you're looking for money to pay for college, have a, an amazing resource called Scholarships Secrets um, Revealed, where I actually break down how to locate and land college funds. And just because you're here, I want to make sure you get access to that. And have a best-selling book called Play Your A Game. It's an academic success book all about how to stay motivated, how to remain focused and succeed in school and life. And uh, I want to make available both of those to you. And the link is down below uh, for the Play Your A Game book. Simply go to playyouragamebook.com or for the college funding book, simply go to scholarshipsecretsbook.com. All right, it's just my way for saying thank you for watching this video. So, um, two weeks ago or so, yeah, two weeks ago, um, no, last week, last week I was in Colorado, shout out to uh, Center Colorado and all of the amazing students and uh, educators and staff there in Center um, Center Consolidated School District. And uh, I had a conversation, had some breakout sessions with a lot of the students, ninth grade, 10th grade, 11th grade, and 12th grade. And there were a few things that were common that I heard throughout, you know, all the conversations with the students. And one of the things that I heard was that uh, students had a hard time staying focused. They felt like distractions was one of their top challenges in school. I, I heard students say they had a problem staying motivated all school year long. And then I had some students say, I feel lazy. I'm tired of school. And I was like, wow. And I thought about, you know, the reality is that here in America, you actually go from school, you go to school from first grade to 12th grade. Yeah, first grade to 12th grade, you know, nine months out of a year, and then you have the summer months. But one thing I realized, I was like, wow, what if these students knew how to refuel themselves all year long so they wouldn't feel tired or feel lazy or feel distracted or feel unmotivated? And then a few weeks back, I was speaking to some teachers, uh, teachers in Las Vegas at a uh, STEM conference for teachers. And uh, one of the things that came up 
was that the students, the teachers were looking forward to spring break. Oh, I can't wait to go to spring break. And then I would ask them, I was like, hey, what are you doing for spring break? It's like, hey, I'm taking my family and my kids and we're going to do this and do this and do this. And I thought to myself, hmm, teachers need to understand how to refuel as well. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the importance of refueling your spirit, soul, and body. Now, if you have a car like mine, and most cars have this, right? You can be driving down the highway, driving through the city, driving to the, another state. And when the gas tank is getting low, you see an indicator that says beep, 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 right? Refuel the car or your gas is getting low. Now we all know that if you don't refuel the gas tank, what's gonna happen? Eventually you're going to get to E. Yeah, eventually you're gonna get, get to E. Not only that, but because I've been speaking the last 20 years and traveling all over the world, speaking and pouring out and giving, guess what? Um, a lot of times it's like this empty bottle, right? Hold on. Right? Imagine me speaking, right? And I'm pouring out into other people, giving life, motivational speeches, edification, inspiration, tips, strategies, helpful advice, guess what? Cantus Simmons tank can get empty. And that's why I learned years ago that if I spend quality time pouring out into other individuals, then I have to refuel myself. Because now I can't travel all over the world and giving off life, giving off helpful advice, and then on the inside, I'm empty. And what happens a lot of times? Teachers, you give, you love, you support, you teach, you edify, you, you critique, you discipline, you're constantly giving out. And then it's like, whew, I'm tired. Oh, I'm drained. But one thing that's different for me than teachers, teachers do this every single day for eight and nine hours. So you have to refuel. The same thing for students, right? You're giving, you're, you're waking up, you're, you're, you're doing homework, you're, you're going to class and you're trying to listen. You have all of this information overload. And now it's like, oh, because of overwhelm now, you need to be refueled. So it's very important that we refuel our spirit, our soul, and our body. It's like, it's very important that we take the time to put some more gas in our tank. Yeah, it, we have to take the time to put all the things that are going to help us live in our spirit, in our soul, and in our body. So let me give you a few suggestions, a few things that you can do to refuel. Now, I'm also bringing this up because, you know, uh, I was talking to some teachers and some parents. And it's like, man, I can't wait for spring break. And I understand what they were saying. They were looking for a week within the school year when they can stop going to school, stop teaching, stop learning, students and parents and even educators. But here's what happens. Most teachers, when you go on spring break, you're probably facilitating all the different things that are going on in the household or facilitating everything that goes on in with the trip, right? You're still working and pouring out. Here's what I'm saying to every student, every parent. Regardless of anybody else, you have to refuel. Believe it or not, teachers, guess what? When you're on spring break, you're really not refueling. You probably transition into a parent and leading your kids. When I say refuel, I'm saying block everybody out, the rest of the world out, and fill up your tank. This is a part of your daily, weekly, and monthly life where I'm asking you, to be selfish so you can be self-full. Yeah, you gotta be selfish to be self-full, right? Because guess what? As you're teaching, and as you're instructing, as you're helping individual, you're very selfless. You're thinking about everybody else. But when it comes down to refueling yourself, refueling your spirit, you must be selfish, selfish, so you can be self-full. So let me give you a few ways to be self-full and just a few ideas. All right. What can you do to refuel yourself? Now, I recommend 
staycations. Yeah, staycation. Like I took a, my last staycation was the end of December. And what I did, I, I pulled up my Priceline app. I found a very beautiful hotel in the city of Atlanta. I booked that hotel and I went to that hotel and I sat on my black behind. Did nothing. But also while I was on that staycation, I read books, I read videos, I, I watched videos, I spent time refueling myself. Now I'm asking you, what can you do? It can be inexpensive. It could be a getaway where you're getting away from teaching. You get away from the school, you're getting away from your kids, you're getting away from your mate. You know, if you're married in a relationship, hey, let your spouse, let your mate know that, hey, I need some time to myself over the next 24, 48 hours. Why? Because you need the opportunity and time to refuel. So number one, I recommend doing a staycation, like getting away, find somewhere inexpensive, find somewhere free where you can get away from everything else and you can just be selfish to be self full and uh, take some time to refuel, like a staycation. If you're taking a vacation, hey, take a vacation for a few days, right? Let your people know where you're going. Make it all about you and refuel your tank. Second thing you can do to refuel yourself. Now, I personally, I like massages. I like stretching. I like working out. I like taking long walks. And I love float therapy. Now you say, what is float therapy? Float therapy is where you go uh, sit in a pool of water for 60 to 90 minutes. And the pool of water is filled with Epsom salt. I get in there with uh, my bathing suit on and I, I lay and I float on water for 60 to 90 minutes. And it's something about Epsom salt. And it's something about a closed room with no sound, with no light. Actually, there's a little blue light there. But it creates this zen feeling. And there for 60 to 90 minutes, I can shut out the rest of the world. And then there's healing that comes to my body and my mental state because I can refuel myself. So outside of staycations and vacations, like what can you do? Are you into massages? Are you into float therapy? Are you into yoga? Are you into long walks? Are you into meditation? Like what can you do on an ongoing basis to make sure you refuel yourself. The third thing I encourage you to do is to fall in love with your hobbies. What's something that you can do that you really enjoy? Something that it may be painting, it may be um, decorating, it may be drawing, it may be uh, going to the park. Uh, like for me, one of my hobbies is visiting all of the major league baseball stadiums in 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 um, uh, in, in the country, right? Uh, I can't say the country because I have three left: Toronto, Seattle, and uh, Minneapolis, right? So Toronto is like not in this country, right? But it's a part of the Major League Baseball Association. So guess what? I'll go to a baseball game. I'll sit in the stadium, watch a game, kick back, and guess what? That's my time to not really think. That's my time to get away from everybody else. And it's my time to refuel and sit there and enjoy the baseball game. That's an opportunity for me to refuel. So what is it for you, right? Like what can you do on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis? You say, what, Kent, is daily? Yes. You're saying weekly? Yes. You're saying monthly? Yes. Let me show you how this works, right? So. Ideally, I'm going to give you permission. I'm going to give you permission, number one, to take a vacation and or refuel yourself intentionally every 90 days. Yeah, don't just wait till spring break. Don't just wait till Christmas break or winter break. But I need you to every 90 days take a break. And I need you to put it on your calendar. Yeah, pull your pen out. 
Put your calendar out. 90 days, every 90 days, every quarter, quarter one, two, three, four, I need you to write down and plan when you're going to take time off. Okay? That's every 90 days. And I'm going to offer you this. Every month, once a month, taking some time for yourself to be selfish so you can be selfful. Once a month, maybe it's doing your hobby. Maybe it's going to get a massage. Maybe it's a pedicure, a manicure. Maybe it's a head rub. Maybe you just want to get away from the family, get away from the kids, get away from the spouse, but do it every 30 days, at least once a month. Put it on a calendar. And then weekly, yes, weekly. What time of the week? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Set some time during the week where you can get away from everybody and just chill out. Fill your gas tank. Maybe go read a book. Maybe watch a documentary. Maybe sit down and watch one of your favorite television shows. Do that every single week. And then daily. Every single day, being intentional about refreshing yourself and refueling yourself. Right. Think about it. Like you give your body water. You have to refuel yourself. And the same thing you want to do that every single day. You know, I recommend to students. You know, so students, you may be in a class, algebra, geometry, science, business, whatever it is. Guess what? Train yourself to focus on the, the school matter for 50 minutes. But then reward yourself and refuel yourself for 10 minutes. So that's 50 minutes of focused schoolwork. And then now you may take 10 minutes to browse social media. Take 10 minutes to go play Fortnite or video game. Take 10 minutes to sit back, go get some ice cream out of the refrigerator, take a break. And then now we're constantly focusing and refueling. Focusing and refueling all day long. And normally what happens, you know, we try to focus and do schoolwork. Then we jump from focusing and schoolwork to jump into focusing and schoolwork. And then now we're trying to have a hard time balancing, you know, on the cell phone and making phone calls and stuff like that. But the idea is, what if we plan this? What if we say, hey, every single, excuse me, day around 12 to 12, 15, I'm going to browse social media. Or every single day from 6 o'clock to 6.10, I'm going to play, you know, Fortnite for 10 minutes. But I want you to get in the habit of focusing and working and locking down and playing your A game, but then taking some time to refuel yourself. Take care of yourself. Teachers, because I understand you're taking care of others. Students, take care of yourself. So you can take care of your grades, take care of the things you're doing in building for your career. Parents, take care of yourself because I understand you're taking care of things on your job, you're taking care of things with your kids. But guess what? If we don't take care of ourselves, we would go through the school year empty. If we don't take care of ourselves, we're now going through the school year riding on fumes. If we don't take care of ourselves, this leads to stress, depression, overwhelm, and burnout. So listen, I give you permission to refuel yourself. I give you permission to have spring break, right? Every day, every week, every month, every quarter, every year. Get in the habit of taking the time to refuel yourself. Why? Because you matter. You matter to yourself, first of all, and then you matter to everyone that's around you. Hey, I'm Cantor Simmons, the coolest guy with 7.25 fingers. Hey, remember, hey, just by watching this video, I got some really cool resources for you. If you want to copy my best-selling book, Play Your A-Game on how to stay motivated, remain focused, and succeed in school and life, hey, click the link down below. If you need access to my scholarship book, my college funding book, hey, click the link down below to make sure you get access to that. Regardless of what's going on, I want you to remember this. There's only one game in life that counts. And that is to play your A game. Like always, this will be your best school.
year ever. Hey, share this video, like it, comment, and let's keep winning on purpose. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.